Hey guys, this is Geek Penguin Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you all the stuff you've want asked in the comments. Um, the first thing was fail to bind port. Uh, that would be because when you go to your Minecraft, uh, you don't enter your IP in the server properties. See, um you put your IP4 address, you can find that by going to CMD and typing IP config and it should be here if you're just connected through wireless or if you're connected through Ethernet uh, it'll be either here or here so you look at IPv4 address so it's 192.168.2.105 is mine and you put in the server IP now you don't give this IP to people you give your IP or your no IP which I'll show you how to do uh, now so yeah you just want to save that and by the way this here you want to keep it on false because if hackers come into your um, server uh, they can fly around unless you've got no cheat and this doesn't affect you if you're in creative mode so yeah and the game mode is survival here but if you wanted to create uh, a creative server you'd change it to one but it's zero for game mode and PvP yeah that's straightforward online mode means if you put it to true only people that have purchased Minecraft can go on your server so if you want to crack run a crack server you would put it to false but if you want to do it yeah if you want to um, have only purchased Minecraft people that have actually purchased the game uh, you'd change it to true and if you change it to false it's really bad if you don't have um, the login plugin because they can change it to your name and opt themselves and yeah it's pretty hard so you also asked about max players um, to change this it's pretty easy you just change this to 100 or something and you just do file save um, we had a problem with our internet so they kind of reset it and my dad reset the router to default settings so it's not port forwarded anymore but um it'll still run here yeah, see this see it runs now yeah lags me it'll look uh plugins uh this is what you asked it's really easy um i don't know why it'd be hard but um basically you download it you get a zip file you drag the jar file into plugins folder which is here and yeah but um for like world edit see there's a lot of ones you could just read the instructions on how to do it but basically you only really need these two folders cuz yeah you don't really need the text files or the readme so you just drag it in and you just restart your server and these would load and you'd have the plugin another thing was no IP which you guys wanted me to show you how to use so basically you go to noip.com I'll put the link in the description if I remember. If I don't remember, just 
just tell me. Uh, but basically, you just um, want to register your account. So, I've already registered, so I'm not going to do it, but I'll just show you a little bit. You just click the free one, or if you randomly want more, uh, yeah, you just do that. Um, yeah, and you just do sign up and put all this stuff in. But I'm just going to log in because I've already registered and I don't really want to waste your time by signing up. So you'll get this when you come in to your thing. And all you want to do really is go to well, manage hosts. And then you just want to go to add host. I'll just put keep penguin and you can choose any one of these but it's nice keeping it short and just like this one because these have slashes and this one's okay as well but yeah so just that's good and you don't want to touch anything else because eh, it's not the greatest thing unless you know what it does and you just create host and it will be created and all you need to do is copy this and then you give it to your friends you do not put it in the server properties and to keep it like if you restart your router it won't update so you need the program so you just go to download and download this I've already got it, so, yeah, uh, I've got a Minecraft folder, and just, it's just like this, and yeah, it'll come up with this, then you want to go to select hosts, and it'll come up with your hosts, so you would click them, and click save, and now when you refresh, it will update to your route routers well your IP. Um and yeah, you just keep this open and run it down here. I think if you cross out of it it'll still be here. So yeah, that's pretty good. And I'll show you well yeah, I'll just show you where to get the plugins. <sighs> yeah, I really want to buy a Mac because this computer is getting really slow. And I can show you both of the operating systems how to do stuff on both of them because at the moment I'm limited to PC. And yeah, but I can do P PC and Mac on a Mac. So you just have all these administration this uh, anti-griefing tools chat yeah and that's basically it so if I've missed out anything post in the comments below and I'll make a new video uh, thanks guys for giving me some ideas on what you want uh, I'd like to have more of that if you have any other things you need and I'm sorry about a few of you with your um uterine experiences. Um it it worked for me. I don't know why it didn't for you guys. But yeah. Um but if you want to port forward, um it's not that hard, you just have to wait a while. Um, and sometimes you can port forward wrong, maybe there's something wrong you did, uh, I usually just port forward and then forget about it, and then I come back and it's port forwarded, cause it's easy, yeah, let me see. yeah, 
so if you want any more tutorials just post in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can and yeah so please rate and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching